Okay, so um, certain elements can destroy matter, and then when you combine those elements, it can create something uh, that is almost the opposite of what the original element is and create something. So you can have a substance that destroys matter, but then combine it with something else, and then it creates a stone, like a rock. Um, which is basically what our planets are. So I have a theory that the outer planets in our solar system are creating this bubble around um, the outer atmosphere of the universe that we live in. And you have Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune, and Saturn working around Jupiter. And Jupiter's made of diamonds, while all of those other planets are gas. And then Jupiter is actually, if I'm not mistaken, the first planet after the asteroid belt or the Milky Way. Yeah, so all the, it's like a mobile, like a baby crib mobile. They're moving around, creating this atmospheric charge that we translate into Earth, into our atmosphere. But because... Of oh, Jupiter. I'm not a scientist or anything, so I don't know. Okay, actually, what I think might be happening, this is just a theory, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just putting stuff on the internet for fun. Um, Jupiter creates this protective bubble that the outer planets are actually slowly disintegrating and affecting Earth's atmosphere. But if Earth, if we create more electric, electricity on Earth, it helps our atmosphere, our individual ozone layer atmosphere, to help push back energetically towards the Milky Way to keep this pressure from Earth towards the Milky Way to Jupiter on the other side and then the gaseous planets and I'm wondering if actually the Milky Way is a result of Jupiter disintegrating into our atmosphere I don't know and I have no degrees or anything so please don't like take anything I serious I say seriously I'm just throwing ideas into the internet for fun just to do a think tank thing